What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreak.com. We just sold out 2022 Panini Certified Football. This is an eight-box break. Pick your teams number three. So three and four uh, are together in the same case. So uh, first half will be here. Second half will be for number four. All cards ship. Any discounts for the Magic? Sorry, buddy. No, we cannot do that, unfortunately. Magic have been selling straight up. Or they've been put into an RMB, which... Uh, people haven't had any problems, so um, if you can find it elsewhere cheaper, all good, but unfortunately, no, buddy. All right, here we go. Last one, Mojo John Buccaneers. All right, so the case is right here. I don't think it fits like last time, but maybe if I turn the camera. Maybe I'm gonna dump the boxes here. Okay, I guess it does work like this, or maybe not. And it's gonna fall everywhere. All right, big mess, big mess, big mess. Big mess. Stay together. And these eight stay together. So, kind of hard to see, but two stacks of eight on each side. So, let's determine which eight boxes we're going to use here for this break. Let's switch scenes really quick. A new dice for one, two, three for the left, four, five, six for the right. And it is a six, so we're going to go with the right side this time. So these ones here will all be for number four. Here we go, guys. All right, here we go, guys. First box. Trayvon Walker. To three ninety nine. Sky Moore. Moore. 
And how about a little Josh Jacobs autograph? Uh, to 25 for the Raiders. Another Sky Moore, this time that's numbered to 149. Little Josh Allen to 275. Damian Pierce to 275. Wandale Robinson to 99. <clears throat> Greg Dulwich of Dulwich. <clears throat> Excuse me. Romeo Dubs. JJ Watt. That's number to fifty. <clears throat> Kyle Pitts to seventy five. All right, there you go. First box in the books. Let's go with the next one here. All right, bro, are you still with me, buddy? I know, I got your little pits right there. How about Pitt scoring a touchdown this weekend? This past weekend, I should say. I'm sure fantasy owners are like, yes! Aiden Hutchinson, nice three color patch. To 99. Dwayne with the Lions. <laughs> I mean, I never get mad for asking, right? But unfortunately, no, right? Rondell or Wandell Moore. Chris Olave. Little purple Drew Lock to 10. 10 of 10. We got Lewis Sign. Jahan Dotson. 2349. Cam Taylor Britt. And Danny Gray. San Francisco 49ers going to Jerry. JJ to 349. And we got gold team Devo Samuel. All right, next one.
Yeah, Brody. Um, Ethan's came to play. And it was a good game, man. You know, a little bit of a letdown in the third, early fourth, but I think that drive uh, by the Eagles to respond after the Cowboys cut it down to three was very impressive. It killed a lot of time. Just, just ran it right down their throats, and then another good option play, right? Either Hurts runs it in or throws it and gives it to Devontae. But, yeah, no, the Eagles had a great game plan, honestly. If anything, honestly, the NFL should just study that game plan, and that's how you attack someone like Micah Parsons, right? You know, you, you're not going to be able to, you're not gonna be able to, like, eliminate him from the game, James Cook relic, but how about if you make him decide what he needs to do? Right, if he, if he can cover, is he gonna cover Jalen Hurts, or is he gonna take the the you know running back slash uh, tight end? And that's exactly what they were doing all game. They were making him decide on what to do. So honestly, it's unfair to him. That's why he was a little frustrated. But it was just like the perfect way to attack him. You know, J.K. Dobbins. Yeah, Miles Sanders had a nice little game, too. I think the biggest difference is that just Hurts is not turning over the ball this year as much, you know? He's making better decisions. He's tucking it. He's running. He's sliding if he needs to. And obviously, the defense is just... Their turnover ratio is it's pretty pretty amazing, actually. They're, like, plus, like, 14. And, like, the next team that is closest is, like, 10 or 8 away. It's, like, ridiculous. Joey Bosa... So that was like the big difference maker too. Darius Slay balling. Bradbury's balling. Daniel Bellinger. And nice David Bell. Nice two-color patch and autograph to 199 Yeah. I think James Bradbury has been the biggest, like, surprise, honestly. I don't even know if we're going to keep him next year. He just signed a one-year deal. Kind of more like a prove it. He's going to get paid CB1 money. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't think the Eagles would resign him, honestly. But they'll definitely enjoy using him this year, though. Unless he wants to stay. Take a little bit of a pay cut. But yeah, Darius Slay is just picking up where he left off last year. Alright guys, fourth box. So we're officially halfway through once we get through with this one. All right, next one. Tyler Higby. I feel like we pulled him in the last one. We got uh, signatures for the Rams. Danny Gray. Matthew Stafford. Evan Neal.
You got Kyle Hamilton. Mark Andrews, two three forty nine. Uh, John Mechie. Adam, I know. What's up, man? How are you? I feel like it's been a minute. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Redemption. Kate York, Mark Andrews, Derrick Henry, two two forty nine, and how about we just do it quickly? Bam! Traylon Burks, pieces of the game signatures red. That's for uh, Tennessee. Awesome, man. I mean, same old, same over here with me too, man. <laughs> Except uh, I'm not like your normal job, right? It's, you guys will know when I'm not working or not here. So it's like if if I was younger and I was telling my parents I called off or didn't want to tell my parents I called off if I was living with them, right? If I was like a teenager. <laughs> you would never know. Can't play hooky doing this job. Oh, yeah, 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 cool. That's all good, man. Yeah, but today I've been really busy today, man. Kind of felt like one of those like, pandemic days, honestly, bro. It was like just back to back to back, like breaking. I'm going to go sleep pretty good tonight with the baby. <laughs> all right, Matt Corral. To 149. Pink Jalen Waddle, that's the number to 199. A little out of 10, CD Lamb. And a little Sky Moore, Patch Auto, the third, 349. Yeah, my Eagles have definitely exceeded my expectations for them starting off the season, but it's still a very long season, though, man. You know, a lot of things can change, injuries, stuff like that, so definitely taking it, try to take it one game at a time, not trying to look too far ahead, but yeah, it's been pretty good, man. And yeah, Chargers have been messed up with injuries and sloppy game this past week, but hey, got the dub, right? Four and two now. Dallas Goddard with this. That's going to Travis, or Travis with Dallas Goddard, I should say. Bill Bates, safety there for the Cowboys. Of course, when you get an Eagle, you have to have a Cowboy, right? Cowboys, that's going to Emma. Deshaun Watson to uh, 275. And a nice little Drake London to do 75. Yes, I have a couple Charger friends. 
including my buddy Axel that used to work here. He's he doesn't like Staley. <laughs> but I don't think they'll make any changes during the season unless it got really bad, right? John Moran almost went for 50 today? Good lord. Alright, next box. A little Brady. Buccaneers going to John. It's gold team to 199. Trey McBride to 399. Grizzlies and, and Pat. Pelicans would be a great matchup to see this year, right? Zahn and and uh, John Morant battling it out, nineteen twenty class. Amari Cooper to seventy five, and Malik Willis. Ty's going to Leonard. My fantasy team this week for my friends league is a little. I'm a little screwed. I I went a little too eagle heavy. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Jalen Hurts is out for me, of course, which has done great. A.J. Brown's out for me. And then picked up the Eagles' defense, in the, obviously, as, as my defense early on because I had a feeling they were going to kill it. But uh, I have them out. Kicker, I had Jake Elliott just because I know he was a good kicker, but I don't really care for kickers too much. Just a normal standard PPR league, so. And then, you know, last week I had Lamonra out. I had a... Uh, I had a... Uh, What's his name? Uh, the running back for the Detroit Lions again? Well, why am I blanking on him right now? What's his name? CJ Spiller. So yeah, last week was pretty bad too, but after this, after this week, I should be golden. DeAndre Swift. There it is. Swift. Thank you. So, but no, I had started off three and zero in my friends league. I was like, wow, my team was loaded. I had Hertz, AJ. Amonra, Swift, uh, and then uh, my tight end was Freermuth at the time. Eagles defense. Then I lost a couple games because of a couple injuries, of course. Amonra was out. You know, Swift was out for a few weeks. But I won last week, so 4-2. and two. Still not bad right now. In the Jaspie League, I mean... We don't have no kickers, and we have, like, this crazy one. So, it's, like, literally, we have we all have, like, a crazy, like, depth chart. But uh, right there, I'm not doing too well right now. I'm, like, in eighth or ninth place, but... Whoa! But uh, still early in the season. I mean, I think even breaking even uh, at a, uh, 500, we might even make the playoffs. Certified potential, Mac Jones. Two out of ten. Nice one there for the Patriots. What a mark. But still time to definitely get better there. But I'm more excited for my friends league just because we all pay like 100 bucks and it's a 14 team league. So winner take all 1400 bucks. I, I, I'd rather be successful in that league. This Jaspie one was also for money, but I mean... You know, it's not a crazy amount competitive, you know.
Oh, Brody, I was in the same position, dude. I lost in the Jaspi League by one point, like eight points or something crazy like that. I only needed like I only needed Mike Boone, the running back for the Broncos, to get like three or four points. That's all I needed him to do, and I would have won. Dude only got like 1.28, 1.82 points or something crazy. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. And that's how like I had a horrible week too, and I still could have won. I was so mad. Look at that, Young Hoku. I know that's what uh, what Brody wants. Wants them coups. I also had Kareem Hunt, Brody, and that's also another reason why I lost. Herbie. And a nice colored Aiden Hutchinson to 50, 2022. Whoa, is that another case here right here? The Mighty? Najee Harris. That is a uh, Steelers, Carl. Pickens. Trey McBride. We, we just love our players too much, Brody. <laughs> Tua. Togo Vailoa. Kadarius Tony to 15. Giants. Uh, Adam Coverman. Higgins, nice through a two color patch and autograph to two ninety nine. Oh, same way, Brody. I'd rather have uh, you know Eagles win, or uh, you know Miles Sanders just do good in I don't know. You know what I mean? Like I'd rather have Pitt score and do that than losing final. I don't give a shit. It's kind of like when I bet on the Eagles, you know, and I take like you know the the opposing team. Plus whatever. It's like, well, if the Eagles win, I don't give a shit. You know, like, it doesn't matter to me. I could lose in fantasy this week, especially if the Eagles win. <laughs> it's like, I just love my team too much. And my uncle, one of my, my good uncles that likes to bet a lot, he's the total opposite. He says, I love my 49ers, but I love money more. <laughs> so he's willing to take the 49ers or willing to not take them in order to win some money. Which I can't do that. Like, we do the weekly pick'ems. Right here, my mom does them for five bucks. It's usually like $150, $200 a pop. Never pick the Cowboys. Never. I don't think I've ever picked them to win. Even if I knew they were going to win. I'm sorry. I just don't. So, like, you chalk me up as a loss. <laughs> and then I never not pick the Eagles to win because I'd rather the Eagles be the team to burn me than to ever choose them to actually, like, lose, you know? Like, out of all the times I've picked them to lose and shit, like, they've actually won. So I was like, no. I don't do it no more. I think I've only ever drafted, like, cowboy kickers, too. I don't know. It's just bad mojo for me. All right, guys, last box here. Our right, last one here, guys. Christian Watson. Harrison Bucker. Man, we got kickers here. Jordan Davis. C 
CD Lamb. Connor Hayward. Clyde Edwards Alaire. Nice three color patch. Gavin Cook. And Sam Howell. Washington Commanders, Patrick Davis. Well, Kenny Pickett. Damian Pierce to 50. And Pickens. All right, well, hey, still solid first half, though. I feel like that second half can easily be pretty big, so we'll definitely get that rolling tomorrow. Uh, but nice break here. Let me go through the cards again, the hits, so you guys can see them. Uh, no randomizers, right? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Very solid. The Mighty was a case hit. Pickens was a nice RPA. We got a Mac Jones to 10. All right. Sky Moore, Traylon Burks, Tyler Higby. David Bell, Mechie, on top of that, uh, Aiden Hutchinson relic, Josh Jacobs, pretty solid guys. So that is it folks, this was break number three, number four is in the store, second half of the case, jazbeescasebreaks.com guys, thanks.